hello good evening all so now let's talk about the automotive industry changing to a circular economy for the betterment and uh, like waste management so first let's see what's a circular economy the circular economy yeah it's a model of production and consumption which involves sharing leasing reusing refurbishing repairing and recycling existing materials and production as long as possible in this way the life cycle of products is extended in practice it implies uh, reducing waste to a minimal amount when a product reaches the end of its life its materials are kept within the economy wherever possible thanks for the recycling and yeah this is a departure from traditional linear economic model which is based on a uh, take make consume throw away matter this model relies on a large quantity of cheap easily accessible materials and energy so yeah uh, this is what a uh, circular economy is and let's see uh, what are the benefits of a circular economy to a uh, few benefits include like to protect the environment reduce raw material dependencies create jobs and save consumers money so what is an automotive industry the automotive industry comprises a wide range of companies and organizations involved in the design development manufacturing marketing selling repairing and modifications of motor vehicles so now we are going to see how this automotive industry is dependent or moving or changing to a circular economy let's see so the automotive industry shift towards a circular economy plan is actually gaining a lot of momentum these days why there are many benefits so there are eco benefits tech benefits and yeah social impact so what what are the eco benefits reducing waste and resource consumptions yeah the waste is getting reduced like as we are moving towards a circular economy where we are, where we are reusing refurbishing recycling stuffs so that uh, most of the waste are aren't waste actually they are getting reused as resources so resource consumption is also done now what are the tech benefits like adoption of advanced technologies for sustainable management yeah sustainable sustainable manufacturing yeah sustainable manufacturing is a very important need these days like most of the resources non renewable resources and renewable resources are getting exhausted nowadays and uh, this should be stopped as uh, we should give our environment as a sustainable environment to our future generation so adoption of these advanced technologies for a proper manufacturing is very important and that is being a tech uh, side and what are the social impact as there are many industries moving to a circular economy there are many job opportunities and work in uh, environment needed so job creation and improved working conditions is one of the social impact yeah improved working condition in the sense there are many industries moving to this positive uh, recycling uh, remanufacturing reusing stuffs and there the people uh, working is like more people are uh, engaged in working and this improves the environment now let's uh, dive deep into what are the eco benefits like adopting a circular economy plan in the automotive industry brings several advantages mainly environmental advantages uh, as we have seen it's uh, one good uh, advantage is reduction in waste generation through recycling and reusing materials and the other thing is decreased energy consumption due to efficient resource utilization so, yeah why efficient res uh, resource utilization cause like we are we aren't uh, wasting any resources like then and there it's getting used back it's getting refurbished back it's getting recycled back so uh, these resources aren't wasted and hence these energy is the energy in uh, procuring stuffs is getting consumed like energy consumption is there and resource management efficiency is increased like most of the resources are managed properly used properly low carbon emission as a result of sustainable manufacturing processes yeah carbon emission is one important thing which is harmful for the environment and this is being considered when we move from a, uh, from the normal thing to a circular economy plan so let's see what is uh, carbon emission like what are the benefits of carbon emission um like uh, one good thing is like it clearer air and skies like reducing our carbon emission helps uh, reverse the impact of global warming overall but more specifically benefits the overall air quality plus it makes for a clearer skies saves money 
like the simple reduction of energy shrinks your carbon footprint and operating expenses healthier water supply green, uh, greenhouse gas emission rise air temperature directly impacting the oxygen concentration in rainwater and contributing to lower rainfall levels and the overall health let's see uh, per se like with healthier air water and food we can significantly reduce many climatic related health issues uh, which are seen today like these are the eco benefits that we see when an automotive industry is getting uh, moved on to a circular economic plan that is one thing and let's see what are the technological advancements that they are uh, being undertaken like integration of electrical vehicles and renewable energy resources yes uh, nowadays uh, the move towards an electrical uh, to ev emissions like electrical vehicles is very crucial because like nowadays these fuels uh, petrols and diesels which are uh, getting exhausted day by day and it's very important for us to present it to our future generations properly without being totally exhausting draining up everything so electronic vehicles is one very good option for that and as most uh, mainly the energy consumed in in an electronic vehicle is through electricity so energy is not being wasted or any carbon emission is not being done so it is not harmful for the environment so energy like electrical vehicles is one good option another thing is uh, the wastage in electric vehicles could be battery wastage which should be considered pro- properly and uh, reused or recycled so that these emissions is also getting cleared and implementation of iot and ai for efficient resource management and predictive maintenance that is very true like uh, uh, iot and ai is be- being used uh, everywhere nowadays and this being used for environment's betterment is very good call and uh, f- for example like iot sensors can monitor energy consumption and pattern of usage so ai can analyze this data to provide recommendations for energy efficient practices and suggest changes to optimize energy consumptions ultimately reducing operational cost and carbon footprint that is one good thing which is at the end is uh, better for the environment and the society and another technological advancement is development of lightweight materials to enhance fuel efficiency see uh, developing lightweight materials also an uh, important factor while transportation and stuff uh, the development and integration of lightweight materials are instrumental in achieving enhanced fuel efficiency why across various industries ultimately contributing to a more sustainable environmental friendly future and society what are the social impacts the circular economic plan in the automotive industry has positive social implications why are they saying that there are many job creations through the expansion of recycling and remanufacturing sectors as there are many industries growing up and many uh, job vacancies forming these job creations are very important improved working conditions through the adoption of sustainable practices yeah like the prac- like we are as we are adopting sustainable practices like in the sense these recycling re, re- using the manufacturing stuffs the environment working condition is better like betterment is seen access to affordable and eco friendly transportation for marginalized uh, communities like as uh, these lightweight stuffs and these uh, recycled and remanufactured products are getting uh, se- sell sell like they are coming for sale uh, they become affordable and eco friendly like for many of the communities and the society as uh, they are getting refurbished and recycled most of the amount is not spent in manufacturing them and thereby uh, reducing their cost and hence it becomes affordable and the eco friendly part is because they are getting recycled and remanufactured that is one important thing and uh, budget friendly approach yeah as we have seen why budget friendly as i say as i said before these things are getting manufactured recycled so the manufacturing cost for them is not as spent in a proper new model so the cost is cut down hence it is budget friendly reduced material cost through recycling and remanufacturing processes increased product life span leading to a lower replacement and maintenance expenses um as these products are getting reused and remanufactured the life span of the product increases as once it gets uh, uh, like age old or something they get reused and they get remanufactured or recycled hence the these products are not not thrown as waste or stuffs is getting utilized properly which is better for the environment potential for increased revenue through the creation of new markets and business 
models yeah like uh, these new markets and business models are getting boomed nowadays and this is a potential for increasing the revenue of these things and th- thereby when their revenues increase these manufacturers and the uh, business people like business industries provide more uh, reduce like more materials and recycle them properly manufacture package them properly which is at the end beneficial for the society and the people and as these products are getting well manufactured that is also better for the environment so now let us see few case studies remanufacturing a uh, remanufacturing involves restoring used products to their original condition reducing waste and reduction of waste is the crucial factor here like that is what we want for a better environment and a sustainable one it reduces the need for raw material extraction and manufacturing lowering resource consumption as these materials are getting remanufactured uh, uh, they are using the products which are thrown as waste and which aren't actually waste so there there is no need for a uh, raw material or sort as these are using a, already the raw materials from the waste materials they are extracting from them and remanufacturing part remanufactured parts are often more affordable making vehicle maintenance budget friendly as i said as i said before these products does not uh, need the amount of any new model like money of like price of any new model so the price is getting cut down as they are remanufactured and that in way in a way makes it more affordable for any community any p- a set of people so that uh, these uh, vehicles are getting budget friendly and anybody could use it ha- not harming the environment and let's see another case study is the electrical vehicles uh, evs reduce reliance on fossil fuels leading to lower carbon emission like as we have seen what carbon emission is these carbon emissions and like co2 or uh, gas is coming out from the vehicles are harming the environment and this is cut down by using evs and battery recycling programs enable the recovery of valuable materials as i have said uh, evs one uh, waste stage is the batteries the batteries could be like recycling these batteries also makes it better for the environment as they are not wasted and they are recycled so it is better only at the end the shift towards ev promotes the development of renewable energy infrastructure yeah like as we are shifting towards the ev these fossil fuels and these petrols and diesels are not very much consumed and this in a way de- shows the development of renewable energy infrastructure and let us see what are the challenges anything whatever is done there will be some challenges like in our case our automotive industry is driving towards a circular economy plan and it has its own challenges let's see what are those challenges lack of standardized recycling and remanufacturing process globally yeah right now there are there aren't many manufacturing uh, industries that are doing this like proper recycling remanufacturing globally so this is one challenge and initial investment required for adopting advanced technologies as technology is being a very important part in energy efficiency for the environment like spending money investment for this eco- like advanced technology is a, a big deal so this is one among the challenges changing consumers mindset and behavior towards sustainable transportation so that is also very important and uh, changing consumers mindset is crucial as they have been uh, planned to this life for a long time and changing to a circular economy which is better for the environment takes a quite time takes a quite long time so this is very important and um, what can be done is collaborations and partnership cooperation between automotive manufacturers recyclers and policy makers makes it uh, uh, better for investments and stuffs and partnership with technology providers to develop innovative solutions is one good thing as partnership uh, with these technology providers they provide many innovative technological ideas so that uh, that would be helpful in energy efficiency management and uh, recycling uh, uh, remanufacturing or reusing which reusing stuffs and resources which are better for the environment engaging consumers through awareness campaigns and incentives like we should uh, talk to the consumers we should uh, like provoke or uh, invoke some ideas towards the into the consumers mind like such that which is important for the environment as we go along and which is better for our future generations mm, and b- which is very important like to give a sustainable environment for our future generations and what are effects we should make so that that is being assured so 
this is uh, engaging consumers is very important and like through campaigns and incentives and thereby we come for our conclusion the automotive industry's transition to a circular economy brings numerous benefits as we have seen a uh, few like uh, let me recap like the economic benefits include waste reduction energy conservation and low carbon emission and the technological advancement drive sustainable manufacturing practices and social impact include uh, the job creation improved working conditions and accessible transportations as we have uh, seen already so this is very crucial factor and very important and this is how, this is how uh, benefits and challenges these these are all the benefits and challenges we have when an automotive industry is uh, getting a transition to a circular economy plan and in a way that's very good for our environment uh, waste management is seen properly and uh, yeah that is important for our environment and society anyways thank you